in, Harris. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, yeah. It's been almost a year since I stood in this chamber, told my personal story, and asked for a children's funeral fund to be established. The Leader of the House recently expressed her sympathy for such a fund, and I have written to the Chancellor and I have urged him to include such a fund in next week's budget. Yeah. Will the Prime Minister add her voice to mine and ask her Chancellor to make this provision a reality? Yeah. Yeah. The, the Honourable Lady has been a passionate campaigner on this issue and has, has um, very thoughtfully shared her own personal experience with this House. And uh, we recognise what an incredibly painful experience it is to lose a child. And I know that the whole House uh, have, are in sympathy with those who do experience such a tragedy each year. Sadly, thousands of families are, are, are do that. Now, what has happened is that the cross, we've put, a, put in place a piece of cross-government work to look at this whole question of how we can improve support for bereaved parents in a whole variety of ways. That piece of work is being led by my honourable friend, the Parliamentary Under Secretary of State for Youth Justice. We are already supporting the private member's bill on parental bereavement that my honourable friend, the member for Thurston Morton, has introduced. We are making it easier for parents to apply for financial support. And we are also ensuring that support from across government is brought together so it's easily accessible for bereaved parents at what we know is a very difficult time. Shades. 